All right, tomahawk. So first off, the steel is good. I could I knew it when I was uh, when grinding on it because the way it was throwing those sparks like that. So it's kind of indicative of a high carbon steel. Um, so just for fun, just to satisfy my curiosity, uh, threw this little chunk that was cut off into my two brick forge and heat it till it was non magnetic. I quenched it in canola oil, let it cool off. And I just, I was caught it in my vise and took a pair of channel locks and just snapped it off like that. So it, it, it's hard. This this steel is hard. I think I could probably break. You know, let's see. Let's see if I can do that. I got my trusty, trusty Leatherman here. Let's see if I can put. Oh boy, no, it's not, I don't know. No, let's not do that. Fuck it. I don't want to lose an eye. I'm not wearing glasses right now. So. So it's heat treatable steel. Uh, coming straight off the saw blades for tomahawks, it, it can stay as is without heat treatment. If I was going to make a blade with it, um, it needs to stay hard, uh, sharper longer for cutting, of course. Uh, I'll heat treat it. So kind of know where that's going. The heat treat process is, you know, I'm going to quench it till it's non-magnetic, or heat up till it's non-magnetic, quench it in canola oil, I warmed up. And throw it in my little toaster oven out in the shop for, I don't know, an hour. And then take it out and put it in for another hour and whatever. So, that's how that steel's it's good steel. Anyway, so, oak is not for the handles. I'm going to have to take this one off. I was winging this sucker around yesterday. Not too bad, you know, 15 feet, 7 yards, whatever. 21 feet, 21 yards, 20 feet, 21 yards, 7, no, Seven yards, 21 feet. Yeah, I was throwing this sucker and sticking to my uh, wood pile. I got out by my range. Uh, the misses took a toll on it. And I used five minute epoxy like a dumb shit, but I wanted to get this done and finished when I first made it to, so I could throw it and see how it handles. And you know, testing it without a handle on it is it's painful. I got baby hands. Anyway, um, so I'm not using, I'm not going to use any wood on these anyways. Look at, I mean, that's, that wood, shr that's from shrink, shrinkage. That is old man and icy river shrinkage there. That is not cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stuff here, these burlap bags, and uh, I cut them into strips, and then I use use this stuff and just pretty much smash them all, all these strips together and they're just slathered in that resin it's just a big wow it's a big fucking mess but I'll, i can make i'll have to make pieces longer long way so it can cover the entire half to this thing and uh it's pretty durable stuff i mean I, that's what this handle is, is made out of um this big knife handle here same 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 stuff right there and it looks pretty cool and it it's not gonna it's not gonna chip and break like this this piece of shit oak is so i'm gonna use this and we'll see how those work out